Negroni week is upon us again. Every year I feel really bad because I always share loads and loads of Negroni recipes and I feel bad for the people that A, don't like Negronis or B, don't like Campari. There are some people out there that don't like it and I know that, I'm aware. I get quite a lot of DMs, a lot of messages on Instagram, people saying, I don't like Campari, can you make something different? So my goal for this video is to show you Campari cocktails for people that don't like Campari if that makes sense. These are probably your gateway Campari cocktails to get you started on Campari. Make sure you stick around to the very end and I'll do a side-by-side -side tasting of these three Campari cocktails. So the first Campari cocktail in this mini series is gonna be the Jungle Bird. The Jungle Bird is a delicious cocktail. It's rum and Campari and pineapple juice, it's delicious. And it was first created and served at the Hilton Hotel in Kuala Lumpur in the Avery Bar. It was created by a guy called Jeffrey Ung and it took a few decades before it actually reached popularity outside of Kuala Lumpur. I believe it was first created about 1973. Cat's nodding your head, that must be right. And it wasn't until the mid 2000s that Giuseppe Gonzalez, whilst he was working at Painkiller in New York, he essentially like revived the cocktail, um, tweaked it a little bit. So instead of having four ounces of pineapple juice, he reduced that massively to an ounce and a half of pineapple juice. And instead of just calling for an aged rum, he changed it to a blackstrap rum. So I don't have blackstrap rum on my bar shelf at the moment, so I'm going to stick with Appleton 12. But of course, you can use an aged, a Jamaican, or a blackstrap. It's completely up to you. Let's make the drink. 1.5 ounces of your choice of rum, three quarter ounce of Campari, 1.5 ounces of freshly pressed pineapple juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, and half an ounce of fresh lime juice. Add ice to the shaker, then proceed to shake for 10 to 12 seconds. Garnish with an orange wheel, one skewered maraschino, and three pineapple spears. On to Campari cocktail number two. This one was created by Vincenzo Erico, and as most of you may be aware of, I'm quite fond of this. So essentially it's like a Negroni sour, but you've replaced the sweet vermouth with fresh grapes. It works really, really well. So start with five green grapes, add that straight into your shaker tin, and give them a gentle muddle. Vincenzo created the Inzoni whilst he's working at Milk and Honey in New York. The recipe calls for a gin. I'm using Martin Miller's Westbourne Strength, which is 45%, a little bit stronger ABV. I think it'll work really nicely in this cocktail. So this is distilled in England, this gin, but then they use Icelandic water to dilute back to bottling strength. One ounce of gin. One ounce of Campari. Three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. Half an ounce of simple syrup, add ice and shake. <laughs> 10 to 12 seconds. Don't forget to double strain this one because you want to hold back the grapes inside the shaker. and garnish with three skewered green grapes. And to round out with cocktail number three of my Campari mini series, I've got the Bitter Mai Tai. This one was created by Jeremy Ertel. He makes plenty of great modern classic cocktails and this is no exception. First of all, start with 1.5 ounces of Campari, followed by three quarter ounce of Smith & Cross Jamaican rum, an overproof rum. Then half an ounce of Orange curacao, I'm using Pierre Ferrat, and three quarter ounce of Orja. Then finish with a full ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Ice into your shaker and shake for 10 to 12 seconds. This one is served over ice, completely up to you if you want to do a big block, cubes, or in my case, pebble ice. Very simple garnish, just a sprig of mint, fresh from my garden. 
Time to test these three Campari cocktails. On your left hand side, you've got the Jungle Bird. In the middle, we've got the Inzoni with the muddled grapes. And then we've got a bit of Mai Tai with that extra dose of Campari. See, for people that don't like Campari, this is definitely very, very approachable. Uh, rum and Campari goes hand in hand. It works really quite nicely. You got that bitterness there, that dryness, uh, that, that orange flavor from the Campari, but it's not overwhelming. Delicious. And then the Inzoni. So that's muddled grapes with gin, citrus. Delicious. Now this one's a little bit brighter, a little bit more lifted. Doesn't have that kind of dark characteristic of a rum based jungle bird. But it still has those lingering Campari notes, the citrus and that bitterness and the dryness, but only a little bit. And then last of all, the bit of Mai Tai. Rum, heavy dose of Campari, and a bit of Orgette. Now this one has definitely stepped it up a notch with the bitterness level. I'd say out of all of these three, for the people that don't like Campari, this would probably be your least favorite. So you're gonna have to work your way up, but 100%, if you don't like Campari, but you want to get into it, or you have friends that love Campari, they love Negronis, it's Negroni week. You need to try Campari. These two are for you. Just recently, it was National Mai Tai Day in the US, so make sure you go check out my Mai Tai variation video.